glamour, artifice, persona, glitter, stage lights. Humor, commentary, camp, all of that, everything that Warhol was emanating, that I was receiving and that I didn't necessarily have language for, um, made a deep, 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 deep impression on me. My name is Alex Jovanovich. I'm the reviews editor at Art Forum, and this is Art Forum's Interpretations. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be interpreting an episode of The Love Boat that aired in 1985, where Warhol was a guest star. It was an episode that was particularly significant for me, simply because it seemed to be the uh, gateway drug that allowed me um, entry or some very initial understanding of, of the contemporary art world. Romaine, your executive assistant. I've but it was that episode of Love Boat and seeing Warhol not knowing who he was, never had heard of him prior to uh, that moment, um, and, and having this spiritual, even visceral connection to his presence on the TV screen, um, I'm almost positive altered the course of my life. I don't know what it was, something about the right-wing hysteria of the period and seeing someone like Warhol, who didn't necessarily announce who was, he was gay, but he was sort of a figure like Liberace, someone who lived in the glass closet, you know? Um, when you saw him, when you heard his mouth open, you know, that old uh, queen phrase, you know, they open their mouth and a purse falls out. I mean, that was kind of like what the experience I had with Warhol. This is the first sort of major series of self-portraits for quite a long time. What prompted this one? Uh, well, I, I, it's just, I ran out of ideas. To see Warhol as this, you know, beacon of, of strangeness, of eccentricity, of queerness, uh, of New Yorkness, of avant-gardeness, of ugliness, of something that was not heteronormative, of something that didn't really occupy any easy category, at least in my 10-year-old brain at the time, um, that spoke to me because in him I saw something of myself. And it was in him, in his presence, that I was able to see some glimmer of hope for a future for me. Warhol was my first art love. I don't think that's unusual for a lot of uh, gay men of my uh, generation, but um, I'm so grateful for it. I'm so grateful that happened.